What's up guys? In this video, we're gonna analyze the infamous RSD Julian CNN interview where Julian gets destroyed by Chris Cuomo. And specifically, we're gonna break down what he could have done to own the frame battle and dominate the interview. All right, so for anyone who's not familiar with what the fuck I'm talking about, I'm gonna give a little bit of backstory. So circa 2014, back when RSD used to be somewhat cool, Julian was coming up and he was making a lot of racy content. You know, he had a lot of trolling. He had his, you know, fake son Gaspar that he would make a lot of jokes about. But the stuff that kind of got him into trouble was he had a video where he was like fake choking a girl and he was in Japan calling girls dog, right? So it was a kind of in poor taste and, you know, a little bit kind of silly. Yes. But, you know, I've met Julian several times. I can definitely say he's not misguidedness. You know, he doesn't hate women. He doesn't teach hate. Like, he's not one of the men going their own way, guys. Like, as anyone who knows him will kind of vouch for. However, what happened was the media just kind of ran with it. So they started making him out to be basically someone that he's not. They were saying how he's teaching men to, you know, take advantage of women and how to do all this bad shit. And that stuff does exist. It just isn't something that Julian does. Like, it's pretty far from what he does. And so basically they attacked him. They called him the most hated man in the world. He started getting banned from several countries. And actually, you know, this is when I would say RSD entered its decline after that. Because I think after that, they made the decision to just basically never put out, like, real content again and just play it safe and make woo-woo self-development nonsense. But anyway, so what happened was Julian got invited to go on a CNN interview to apologize. And unfortunately, he very much, as I think me and a lot of fans at the time felt, bitched out completely, you know. He just, you know, just let the news anchor just fucking wipe the floor with him. And in hindsight, you know, I can't totally blame him because he was in a very tough spot, you know. I'm sure he felt like his whole world was melting down. He was being banned from countries. He was called the most hated man in the world. And, you know, just his frame just basically broke down, right? However, I think there's a lot we can learn from this interaction and see in hindsight what he could have done to handle the situation completely differently and have a totally different outcome. All right, so without further ado, let's roll the interview. So-called dating coach is now being called the most hated so man in the world. Coach. That's the question that Time Magazine asks. And it largely comes from a video from one of his seminars that emerged online. In it, there are techniques that are considered so bad that they allege on sexual assault. Now, several countries are trying to keep him out, including Australia, the UK, and Brazil. We have the man at the center of this controversy, Julian Blanc, with us here on New Day. You seem uh, noticeably nervous. So, um, you know, the host, uh, Chris Cuomo, picks up on right away on the fact that Julian is nervous. And again, it makes sense that he is, but, you know, he definitely, what he should have done is taken the Xanax, fucking, you know, got laid, whatever, done something beforehand to be prepared for the moment. So he's very tight in his body language. He's just kind of sitting there like this. So that already kind of starts him off, you know, on a low note. Julian, why is that? Well, I'm sure you read the headlines, um, but first... Before getting into it, I just want to apologize, you know, to anybody I've offended in any way. Uh, this was never my intention, and uh, I just want to put it out there. Like, I'm extremely sorry for everything that happened. The key to an apology. So here he's his first mistake. He's apologizing. But what is he really apologizing for, right? He made some videos. You know, they were taken horribly out of context, right? Uh, you know, some of them were a little racy. Some of them were offensive. Uh, but he starts off with the apology, right? Like, that's not the way to start an interview. Like, you're already basically admitting guilt and basically starting off below. Now, watch how Chris Cuomo really hammers him. So watch how he researched the frame. Basically, what you're going to see throughout this interview is Chris Cuomo is almost the judge. He's sitting above him. Julian is here. And he's like, yeah, haha, you're, you're, you've done bad. I'm so much above you, right? And what Julian very much plays into this frame, what he needs to do is take back the frame, which unfortunately he doesn't do. So watch what happens Apology next. Apology is honesty, right? 100%. How can you say that you didn't intend any of this when we just look at the picture that was behind us? Not of the beautiful uh, cityscape here, but of your face holding a really ugly saying about women. You intended every part of this, true? My intentions were never bad. So here, all he really needed to do was say, dude, it was a joke. It was a meme. 
It was in poor humor, yeah, but it was a joke. That's what he needed to do. This is what he does. Um, I agree it was a horrible attempt at humor. And unfortunately, a lot of it also got just put out of context. These aren't memes. You have a course yes. that you do here. Yes. And again, the honesty of it is this is a program you put in place that you think can help guys um, meet women. And meet is in quotes. Yeah, not an accident, not a meme, not a one-time thing. This is a pattern of behavior. Yeah, I don't I hear you guys, owning it. Basically, I teach guys how to gain... So, so Chris Cuomo is actually very much on his shit. And believe me, I'm not a fucking fan of this guy at all. But he is very spot on. He's like, dude, you're not owning it. Like, if you want this to work, you have to own it. And this is one very much thing that Julian is not doing. He's not owning the situation at all. And honestly, owning something, you can really... Again, I'm not a Donald Trump fan. But watch what happens when Donald Trump gets accused of shit. He just fucking owns everything. I mean, he doesn't, he avoids responsibility, but he does own shit. Now watch what Julian does. Confidence, you know, most of them socially awkward. Uh, teach guys how to gain confidence in order to, you know, socialize with women and perhaps get into a relationship with a woman. But it's real. So here he's, he's backtracking. Again, this is also just, you know, he's losing the frame so badly, right? So how I would have responded to this, he's like, he's like, yeah, I have, he's like, so you have a course where you teach men to meet women and meet in quotes, you know, he's like, yeah, I teach men uh, how to have the kind of dating life that they want. If they want to have sex with a woman uh, and it's consensual, what is wrong with that? Flip it back on Chris. Like, what's wrong with that? And then watch how he answers. Now, of course, there would, he wouldn't just agree with the frame. There would be a little bit of a frame battle, right? Uh, I might even go with something like, so you're telling me you've never had a one-night stand with a girl, Chris? Right? Put him on the spot about how to have sex with women, right? That's what a lot of That's the details part of it, but to be honest, too, a lot of our clients do meet their spouses on uh, these programs. You, you think that men meet women and get into meaningful relationships with the tips that you give them? More than you'd think, yeah. Re how do you know that? I'm like I, baffled by that. That's why I, I receive you. emails all the time. I've been invited to weddings of uh, previous clients. Um, yeah, people are just eternally thankful. You tell them to choke women, you tell them to take women's heads and put them in your crotch, in a man's crotch. And that's where a lot of the confusion is coming from. There like, is no that's... confusion. There is no confusion. He's, he's letting him interrupt them, right? So uh, that's, that's pretty, you know, like if someone gets to interrupt you and get away with it, again, they hold the frame. So when Chris interrupted me, I'd be like, hang on, can I finish? Right? So you want to use almost like social norms to your advantage. Like, excuse me, Chris, can I finish? At that point, he has to say yes. Now, how I would have answered that question would have been something more along the lines of, um, like, um, no. So that was part of the, you know, that was what was taken out of the context by the media. Again, uh, a lot of this is, this was pre-Trump, but a lot of Trump has really kind of shown the way how to handle shit like this, you know, if you're in this situation. Like, um, yeah, no, that was taken out of context by the media, man. Like, that's not what I teach at all. Uh, can you show me where I teach that? Well, you know, we have this video of you. Yeah, man, that was a joke and it was in poor taste, but I don't actually teach that. Did you go through my course? Where do I teach that, right? So this is kind of how I would have handled that part. You know, that video, I'm telling okay. you, I think if you want this to be meaningful for you in any way, you better own this stuff. He's that right about doing. that. No, I 100% okay. take responsibility and I apologized 100% for it. You apologize because um, you got caught or because you're sorry? No, I'm extremely sorry. Okay. Like, I feel horrible. I mean, I'm not gonna be happy to feel like I'm the most hated man in the world. I'm overwhelmed by the way people are responding. With those pictures there that you're referring to, of again, like choking women, um, I just wanna make that clear, that is not what I teach. Like those pictures there, again, was a horrible, horrible attempt at humor. Uh, yeah, so here the problem is he's just so fucking like, he's just so apologetic. And again, this is the wrong frame to be in. Like he thinks that if he plays by their rules, he's gonna have a better outcome. No. When you play by their, the media in this situation, they want him to be the bad guy, right? Even if you have the best fucking argument ever, it's still not going to help you, right? Like what you need to do is you need to take back the frame and make them look like the silly ones. If you play by their rules, you're going to lose. And again, this is something that I think, you know, I don't, I hate fucking constantly referencing that Trump kind of showed us, right? So in this picture, how I would defend that? I'd be like, yeah, man, this was a chick who I was, you know, ch hanging out with. We were flirting. Uh, you know, she's into some BDSM. Uh, what's wrong with that? Like, you do, Chris, you do know that some women, you know, in a relationship enjoy being choked. That's part of BDSM. Are you not familiar with that? Like, make him seem like the weird one, basically. Um, you know, it's, you know, they, they were also, like, taken out of context in a way where... How could they be taken out of context? Give me well, the you good use anything, of choke a woman. You can make anything look bad. 
in a picture. How does Choco Those Woman girls look good? Were girls I've been uh, hanging because out some with, tricks are you know, during my time there. I did place my hand around their neck. I did not physically choke them. And again, I just wanted, you know, to just, you know, create like again horrible attempt at humor and just trying to provoke a shock, which it did, but for all the wrong reasons. How about this thing? That chart there, yes. This uh, is that's been brought up quite a lot. Now that this is, is an adaptation. Let's say what it is before what you uh, mm -hmm. perverted it into. This is a. So as you can see, what Chris wants to do, what CNN wants to do, is basically drag Julian through the mud and just basically just really fucking hammer on him. And again, if he keeps playing by their rules, that's what's going to happen, right? Like. The only way, again, I keep saying this, is to avoid that outcome, is to wrestle the frame from them. Uh, an abuse hotline, a uh, woman's protection uh, palette where you're supposed to see different signs of things that are being done to you that you should be careful about as a woman. Yeah. You used it into an empowerment model for some you know, pathetic man group, right? Well, this here is not something. So here, right there, this is something that he should have taken issue with. So you can see it's funny that the you know CNN news anchor is nagging the pickup artist. I would have said, excuse me, pathetic, pathetic man group. Uh, do you know any of the guys? Like again, he's he's afraid to challenge the host, but that's what he needs to do. I've been like, why do you say it's pathetic? He been like, well, you know, because you guys teach stuff like that. Well, have do you know any of the people there? Like, why do you like? You're just gonna basically call tens of thousands of men who you don't know at all who are struggling to meet women because they didn't come from a privileged background like you and don't have good genetics, pathetic? Like, really, man? Like, again, that's something I would have 100% challenged him on, and he just lets that slide. I teach either. It's not a chart from my course, and I do not show this at my course. So you had nothing this to do with this? This is so far in the opposite direction of what I teach. Backtracking, thought, backtracking, you know, backtracking. It would be funny, but it wasn't, and I regret putting that out. How did you get into this situation? into teaching men how to gain confidence. Yeah, it's just that was the lamest attempt at frame control ever. So here Julian does try to take back the frame, but like you can see, first of all, he does up talk into how to teach men how to be more confident with women, right? Like again, and I'm not, I'm not trying to be too hard on him because I'm sure there was a lot of pressure on him. This is more from like an intellectual perspective, but like, yeah, that was a really lame attempt at frame control right there. Sitting where you're sitting right now. How, how did you get into this? Posting a lot of stupid stuff online. I thought, once again, I was being funny. It was ex stupid. I regret it, and I'll definitely be more careful in the future. Did it? Oh. Like, again, why are you apologizing? Like, y you posted some shit that was taken out of context. Like, um, yeah, sure, maybe you should be sorry if someone really fucking felt bad, but at the end of the day, you didn't really do anything that wrong. So why the fuck are you so sorry? Like, he's acting like someone who just committed, like, 20, you know, fucking murders or something like that or killed a school bus full of children, something really horrible. In reality, he didn't really do anything that wrong. Like, again, is it, yeah, was he kind of, you know, silly and, you know, short-sighted and, you know, maybe kind of careless? Yeah, sure, but fucking millions of people do that. Like, you know, there's a lot of people who post a lot of really dumb shit. Like, you know, you don't have to be super fucking sorry about it. Well, it's, uh, the question of what the future is is a little gray right now, right? I mean, you think guys are going to sign up and take your seminar? I mean, I hope so, but I'm also reevaluating re uh, everything I put out and everything I'm going to be putting out. So here, here I probably would have followed up with humor, right? Again, you don't want to take this, if you, if you take things too logically, you're playing by his rules. So I would have said, why are you trying to get on the wait list, Chris? Like, uh, he'd be like, no, I would never. I've been like, okay, man, yeah, well, you know, if you need to sign up, we'll, uh, we'll got you. Like, I would, I would have, again, I would have responded with some humor here. Your parents still with us? Uh, they know this, yes. Do they know what you've been doing? Yes. Your mother? Yes. What does she say? Well, she's, again, overwhelmed as well. She thinks it's horrible, but I did uh, mention to her, like, that was not my intention. Again, the reason I was putting this out wasn't because I was advocating this. You know, I teach guys how to socialize, how to approach women, but I also teach them how to back off and when to leave. You know, I've been doing this for five years and I've easily coached thousands of clients. There's never been a single incident and there's a reason for that. It's the bigger part of our seminars are focused on when to back off, how to read the signs of Again, he's, he's, he's just so fucking backtracking. Like the way this should have been explained was like, listen, 
This may come as a shock to you, Chris, but a lot of men have a hard time meeting women. So what should those guys do? Should they just give up forever? Basically what we do is we teach them how to become more confident, how to read social cues, and how to get better at interacting with women. And yes, of course, part of that is knowing when to back off. But also women like a guy who goes for what he wants, a guy who's assertive, a guy who has confidence. So we also teach guys that. And I've been doing this for you know five years, never once had an incident. And I think there's a reason for that. That's how I would have reframed that whole thing. Consent. And uh, this here, again, stupid. Keeps posts, calling it stupid. Uh, made stupid pictures that I put up do not represent what I teach in any way. You never want to be too self deprecating. I was trying to be funny. Stupid. I looked at your site, uh, full admission. I didn't study it the way I normally would because I didn't really see the point in it, to be honest. I don't see anything about pulling back. I see if you can't get it to your house, try to get it to her house. If you can't get it there, try and put it off until another day. These are not healthy suggestions. We live in a culture that is constantly battling to teach men how to treat women with respect. We have problems with it everywhere we look. And then you do this. Yes. Why? As I mentioned, I should have put more focus. So here I would respond. So tell me specifically, since you really sounds like you really did your research, Chris, tell me specifically what I'm teaching that's unethical or incorrect. Make him go into the specifics. He just said he didn't really go through the website. He's not going to be able to answer that. Well, you know, you say that, you know, if you can't get to her house, go to her house. If you can't get her to your house, go to her house. If you can't do that. I mean, like, well, yeah, doesn't it make sense that, for example, if you're at a bar, and, you know, the chick, you know, she doesn't feel comfortable going to your house because it's so far away, but she feels more comfortable going to her house. Would it not make sense to at that point go to her house? Would that not make sense? Again, you want to challenge, you know, the frame like that instead of just being a little bitch. On the consent, 100%. Uh, but, you know, a lot of our clients, as I mentioned, are socially awkward guys. You know, it's guys who are just too scared to walk up to women in the first place, uh, let alone say hi, let alone even ask for the time. So we do teach when to back off, like, again, everyone is just like hammered in. Unfortunately, that wasn't condensed in those pictures there. Um, but, you know, it's like the, the main thing, too, is like it's okay to put yourself out there. It's okay to express yourself. It's okay to say hi to someone. Now, again, only if the person wants to listen to you. Respect. 100%. This is all about disrespect. What I see there. This is not what I teach. I don't do this. I don't teach it. It was something stupid that I put out. I regret putting it out. And... I apologize. I really, really but do apologize. But your site is what it was sells funny. the seminar. Do you understand? This is not what sells the seminar. The seminar sells with the results that it produces. And no one, there's not going to be thousands of guys signing up for some seminar that, you know, promotes but these types of things. what are those results? The results of like what? Is it like a sex to encounter ratio? No. Well, like what do you have? The what results metric of changing you who provide? you are. You know, if someone's like introverted, I used to be very introverted. Uh, to, to allow yourself to express but yourself. But a guy who wants to do these kinds of things should be introverted. That would be the argument I'd make, is that these are the last, anybody who wants to pick up on this kind of behavior toward women, those are the last men you should be encouraging to. So here is something, this was, I think, the big, let's call it the O.J. Simpson uh, glove moment. Here is where he should have hammered Chris on this, right? Hammered in, because he just said something that's pretty fucking crazy. Any guy who is not naturally good with women should not be good with women, which is a pretty crazy statement. But, you know, Julian just lets fucking Chris get away with it. But what I would have said is like, wait, hang on a second. Hang on. Are you saying that any guy who is not naturally successful with women should just forever give up? Is that what you're saying? Like, correct me if I'm wrong, Chris. Uh, no, that's not what I said. I was saying that any guy who wants to harm a woman. Uh, so, okay, so you're saying that every single guy who takes my program wants to harm women, like where are you getting this information from? Like again, this is something he should have hammered him on, but he just kind of lets it slide. Do anything. You should take their $3,000 just to put them into some kind of support group, not to teach them these kinds of mechanisms. Well, as I mentioned, I do not teach them what you're mentioning here. I teach them how to socialize. I teach them how to express themselves. I teach them when to back off when the girl is not interested. That's what I teach. Get down on my knees, get down on your knees and call me master. Where does that lead? That's again stupid things that I said. I thought the entire time so everything I was being that I funny, see I was trying to be a smartass. It wasn't funny. See, here's the problem. Julian is just so not owning this. He's backtracking. And when you backtrack and you don't own shit, like you're just at a fucking loss. And then Chris is just hammering him on this. If Julian came in here and just owned this whole fucking shit, this interview would have gone completely differently. I apologize. I regret that. 
But I just want to clarify that's not what I teach, apologize. and I make sure that my clients know that. Site's still up. Stuff is still on there. You say that I made my Twitter private and this and that, but the I stuff did. that's on your site right now, pimp my game, not good stuff. I know. I, I reevaluated like again, a lot of what I put out. Why is it not good stuff, Chris? That's what I would have said. As you mentioned, I, took, I put down my, my Twitter, my Facebook. I even took down some videos. Um, I want to make sure, again, nothing is taken out of context the way it is here. You, and I want to be very careful uh, with, you know, what I release if I'm going to release more in the future. Do you have any sisters? Yes. What would you do if a guy did anything like this to your sister? Well, first of all, I would hope that he would know when to back off, which is what I teach guys. Any of this stuff that's on your site. If, if they there's did any that, sign of lack of consent. If they talk to your sister like that, if they did that, if they put their hands on your sister. Which they never would without a sign of consent. So here I would have just responded with some humor. I'd be like, honestly, man, my sister's into some kinky shit, so I think she would kind of like it. But again, shock value right there. It was like, what? Like, no, dude, I'm kidding, obviously. No, I, mean, I teach guys, you know, how to be more confident women. And I hope that, you know, my sister probably wants a confident guy. She doesn't want a loser who's socially awkward and has no balls. So, yeah, I would have no problem with a guy using my content to meet my sister. That's how you answer that. And that's what I hammer on. I'm like, if I there's don't care any what sign of consent says put your hand on some woman's neck. You don't follow that sign of consent, right? That's and that's not discretion. what I teach. Okay, another thing I would have hardcore challenged him on. He's basically saying, uh, if a girl consents, you still can't choke. I'd be like, I'd be like, dude, what the chi you do know that choking is a key part of sex, right? Like a lot of chicks are into that. Like, are you have you been living in a fucking you know closet? Like, do you not know this? Or are you just pretending right now, Chris? Like, uh, he's be like, what? No, like, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, man. Like, this is clearly a lot of chicks. Uh, I don't know if you have had any experiences with women in your life, maybe you just hide out here in the CNN studio, but a lot of women really enjoy getting cho you know, being choked during sex. Now, of course, you should not do it to a woman who doesn't enjoy it, but if a girl enjoys it, there's nothing wrong with that. What's wrong with that? Do you not respect a woman's right to make a decision about what she actually enjoys and finds attractive? Like, should you be her, you know, let's just say her guardian and make those decisions for her? Not very empowering of you, Chris. Don't, again, confuse what I teach versus some stupid attempt at humor I think you're that wasn't away. funny. I that think I you're put backing out. away from what you teach. He's right. It's getting you in trouble. I'm not. I'm just 100% like, right. right. And I take responsibility for it. It was something that I should, never should have posted online. But I do just want to clarify that's not what I teach. None of my clients do this, and I don't make my clients do this either. Do you think that you're qualified to teach this kind of stuff after the behaviors you've been involved in? Once again, I reevaluate everything. Um, We'll see you in the future. What do you say to the women who are watching this right now? You're a 25-year-old guy. Uh, this is like the biggest fear of a woman, is that there's some guy who's going to come up and play them and hurt them emotionally and maybe, given what you're doing, physically. What do you say to them? Well, first of all, I think that's horrible. And uh, I, I'm sorry. That's what I say. It's like, I'm sorry, and I just want to clarify. I do teach when to back off. Um, this. You know, the world's reaction to this has just brought more focus on that. And I'm definitely, again, if I continue to teach this, I'm going to reinforce that I do teach consent. And I teach it, you know, it's in a very clear way for like any guy to understand where it's like if there's how to read a girl, what signs, again, it's like she's not into it, to back off immediately. And, uh, and, and again, don't, don't overblow or not overblow. Don't, those pictures are not, don't represent who I am or what I teach. And I'm sorry. The bright spot is that the rejection of the methods is a sign that the culture is moving in the right direction, frankly, because these are the worst kinds of messages we have. An apology is about owning a situation, promising not to do it again, and showing a difference. That's the test for you, young man. You're going to have to show that not only can you say it because it's convenient. Now, this is pretty much what that's different going forward. It's a big question mark for you. I will be following you. All right. Now look how, how Chris positions himself as the judge, as the principal. Julian's like the kid who got in trouble and he's in the principal's office. Like why is he embracing this frame? Young man, I'll be following you. Like get the fuck out of here with this shit. Like one of the most hypocritical people in the world is like saying, oh, I'm gonna be following you young man. Like, yo, get the fuck out of here. And the, the sad thing is that Julian just kind of lets him get away with that. Like I, w I, would've, I, would've been, I would've been like, I've been like, oh, excuse me, are you like my principal or something like that? Like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Like, get the fuck out of here with this nonsense. Uh, maybe I wouldn't say get the fuck out of here on national TV, but you guys kind of get the picture.
And to finish up this little analysis, I want to play a clip from our former president. And you can watch how he handles a situation that, in my opinion, is actually a lot worse. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Now, on the surface, this is way worse. He's actually called women that, right? They have him on record versus Julian just made some videos and memes that were kind of just like, you know, suggestive. So, you know, on the surface, these accusations are way worse. Now, but the difference is how Trump handled this. Your Twitter account? Only Rosie several. O'Donnell. He just basically completely takes his own frame. He just dismisses her argument with humor, right? And if Julian handled a situation like that, the outcome would have been totally different, right? And again, I just want to be clear, it's not that I'm like a big Trump supporter or anything, but I think there's a good amount of things we can learn from, you know, his frame control. Hopefully you guys found this analysis valuable. Show us some love by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, and clicking the bell for notification. Once we get this channel up to 100,000 subs, I'm going to go on CNN and own Chris Cuomo's ass with my awesome frame control. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time.